I'm reading a poem from my book of poems called Present Talkies. This is published with Exile Press, Indiana. They are based in Bloomington. And uh, in this case, reminds me of the Vice President, Mike Pence. Anyways, this is a poem called Of an Endless Old Regimental Jabbering. But not actually anyways, because Bloomington, Indiana, where I've never been, uh, and used to live in Amherst, New York. I'm currently in India where I'm making this video in my native state of Bihar, about 80 kilometers from Nepal. But I was about to get my green card and it was almost stolen from me, you know, because of conniving academic politics, which is a long story. But these poems are not so much about the story, but about going through the ordeal and the little moments you know, the little thoughts and not even thoughts because thoughts are coherent pieces sometimes, sometimes incoherent and poetry also talks about incoherent thoughts, it should and that is when it gets into the subconscious. So, um, it's about emotions, right? It's about experience, it's about emotions but it's also about getting over the personal in the experience and making it communal, right? Communal, not in the, not communal, but um, what's the word? Making it uh, everybody's experience, right? Making it, uh, making it a community experience, right? Uh, communal, I think, has a very bad connotation of becoming religiously flamboyant. So, <clears throat> here is the poem of an endless old regimental jabber. That's exactly what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> it's midnight, exactly. I'll tell you the time. It's, it's exactly three minutes past twelve. And it's like, everybody has been doing jabbering, 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 regimental. Everybody in position does the same of an endless old regimental chamber on interfering or speaking in matters where speaking is undesirable and of not just speaking but continuously speaking on letting you have things on making the rules of having okay this is about making the rules of having and it's big after George Floyd, after so many protests, after the pulling down of statues. Again, I start from the beginning. The poem is called of an endless old regimental jabbering and it's unbelievable the quarters that it can come from. Of an endless insistence on intruding, on interfering, of speaking in matters where speaking is undesirable and of not just speaking but continuously speaking. On letting you have things, on making the rules of having, on changing the rules of having, of just making it impossible for you to attain things and making a show of it of that power, of that capacity and speaking on even letting you work. But letting you work is big game. Hiring and firing is big game, but even without speaking. Letting you work is big game, but not letting you work. But not letting you work has been practiced so openly it has seemed like a work ethic in itself. So here's a poem about so much, ultimately about racial discrimination and about making rules of having and not having and making changes according to whims and desires. So I hope you like the poem. I hope it rings a bell. I hope you empathize, sympathize with all the people who have gone through this and are going through this and you help make the borders Clean, clear, depoliticized, and non-discriminatory. Thank you so much for watching.